Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Esteemed Gentleman Podcast for Friday, July 15th. I am your host, Scott Labrie, and joined alongside me, Uncle T-Bag, Tyler Sunt. Hello. No all-day Eric DeShane today. No day, Eric DeShane. No day. No day, Eric <laughs> No day today. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, his mother's birthday. So. Happy birthday, Mrs. DeShane. Happy birthday, Mrs. DeShane. <laughs> so, that's that's what he's doing. That's what I, yeah. So. Good for him. Family man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Eric and DeShane and his family. Got that's it. it. Yeah. Tight-knit group, those going. Yeah, those yeah. Ones. So, just uh, the two of us. And, uh, I don't know, did you want to come out and just say your news right away or what? Sure, I guess we can start with that. So I finally have a, a surgery date, but I also know exactly what this thing is. Luckily, it is a benign nerve tumor. Benign. Uh, so they gave me a couple of options on what to do with it. I can have it, just leave it in there, and they can monitor it, and hopefully it doesn't grow back or become cancerous. And then they said, or we can just cut the entire thing right out, uh, along with most of your nerve to your leg as well, but uh, at least remove the risk of that thing giving you cancer. And I was like, hey, let's do that. And then, so I guess, yeah, we're booked for 26th, have that thing taken out. They'll put me under and have it removed and then uh, probably do a little bit of physio after because I'll be, they said there's going to be mostly, mostly like uh, pain in my leg. Mm. You know, when I, if I, do too much strenuous activity with it, but otherwise, like mobility might be a little bit of an iffy thing. But we'll see with physio after and how much comes out. But we're not going to know for sure until after it's done. But but at least it's not cancerous, so that's always nice. That is good. That is very good. So it's basically the best outcome possible. It definitely is. Yeah. So. Yeah, the best outcome. It's funny how when you get news like that, you just automatically start looking at like prosthetic legs and what you would do in six months if that's all you had left like it's just like you automatically go to like the worst case scenario but luckily this time it's 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 all good so yeah yeah i was gonna say because like you know through this whole thing you were like you know making jokes and being you know seemed okay with it and stuff like that but like were you ever like kind of like i was a little bit worried worried? i was having like nightmares and (laughs) shit like that i don't know it's always been a way that i've coped with with a lot of stuff yeah like i've i've had a lot of traumatic things happen in my life uh a a fair amount and all usually like clustered in a very close time period to each other and i always just left it off like oh that's just the way it goes or you know like i guess it's just my turn or whatever just like make jokes about it and just move on and then eventually like the brain and the body pays for it after because you're just you know suppressing it and just not fucking yeah. whatever. but i don't know everybody has different ways of, of dealing with the stressful news but i mean like if you're just gonna be i don't know i just never really wanted to just be mopey and not i shouldn't call it mopey everybody reacts differently i'm not saying like <laughs> i shouldn't say shit like that but it's just i try to do that just so that it's not as scary or as impactful if i just make a joke out of it yeah and think about how to just embrace it in a funny way instead of dwelling and you know wishing that things were different or whatever you know i don't know i don't know but mm-hmm. that's just the way i've always dealt with it so i don't know but yeah I, deep down i was a little bit worried i was a little bit worried like oh man you know shitty that would be if they had to cut that fucking thing off i make jokes about it man that would suck yeah no more running around no paintballing you know like all this stuff like i wouldn't care what people would think if they saw me with one i would I, that part i don't really care it's just the whole yeah you know but but luckily it's not gonna be the case and there we go yeah so yeah, all's well so july 26th it'll be the day they take that thing out and that's one less thing to worry about now mm-hmm. so but now you're worrying about uh your financials or whatever now the financial situation yeah there's been a there's been a little bit of a mix up there with the disability so it's uh it's been kind of a <laughs> fuck around <laughs> To put it, I guess, to summarize, it's just been a big fuck around. So, yeah. Buy my book. Support me. Yeah. yeah. Buy it. Need the money. Yeah. No. <laughs> but, uh, no, we're getting her all sorted out. There's just a bunch of miscommunication, so it's going to be a lot of the back pay stuff. So, it yeah, should okay. be sorted out here right away, either tomorrow or Monday. So Awesome. So, yeah. Should be good to go. That's good to hear. Yeah. But it's, yeah. That's that. And if anybody's wondering what it's called, it's called a schwannoma. It's like swan, but schwan schwannoma. Schwannoma. It's a very, very rare thing to happen to anybody. They say hmm. they don't see it a lot. It's just a nerve tumor that just 
It's either caused by uh, blunt force trauma, like really hard hit, like right on, like so hard that it like breaks the nerve, or it just something happens, and mm. or it just decides, hey, I'm just gonna grow a fucking tumor randomly. Here we go, or something. Who knows? Never know. Yep, never know. But most causes is is from a, a hard hit to hmm. calf, and I I don't know. I could think of a million things that could have caused it, but not that hard. I don't I don't know. I don't know, but. That's yeah, what it is. Do they, do they ex- like say like how hard like something would have to hit you? No, it'd have to be pretty hard. But I not, not like some dude just kicking you. <laughs> yeah, right. Like yeah. I, pff, I have no idea. <laughs> Had to be something for sure. But yeah. Well, good to hear that yeah. you'll be sticking with us. I'll be sticking around. Yeah, for more than six months. <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> no, that's terrible. <laughs> but yeah, so cool. Yep. Prime Day was uh last two two days. I know. I saw so many things I wanted. Yeah, did you buy anything? I did not. Oh. No. I did not. I wanted to. There was sales on all kinds of stuff. Electronics mm-hmm. and shit like that. Oh, you know what? I'm lying to you. I did. I bought two movie rentals. Mm-hmm. I took advantage of the Prime Video Rentals. Instead of them being 6 or $7 for a rental, it was only $3. Nice. So I watched uh, one mediocre movie. Actually, a movie that was recommended by our good listener, Cameron, a long time ago, mm-hmm. who said that he wanted to know my opinion of, and that's uh, oh. uh, Promising Young Woman. Oh. So I watched that one. At the end, I was like, ah, I don't know how I feel about this one. This is, I mean, you know, my stance is on women and stuff, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. So I watched that one, and it was it was good actually. It was it was good. It was well acted and well thought out, and it didn't it did not like everything that I thought was going to happen in it did not play out that way. Hmm. And then the other one that I rented, I I just I knew the reviews were pretty bad, but uh, I watched Halloween Kills, which is the sequel to uh, the guys that made like Pineapple Express. Danny McBride wrote the first one. The first one was phenomenal with Jamie Lee Curtis. Whatever it's like, tw- the story is like twenty years after or forty years after the original events of the f- of the first Halloween. Uh, John Carpenter's um, so that's what this was taking place and this takes place immediately after the first one and it was really hard to watch because of how stupid people are the filming was great the gore was cranked to fucking 11 like eh, he murdered half the fucking town man <laughs> but that's the thing of how fucking stupid it is because basically the premise of this of this movie is Michael escapes the burning house fire you see that in the trailer he busts, He escapes the fire, murders all of these firefighters. My problem is everybody attacks him one at a time. Yeah. Holy fuck, you guys. Band together. <laughs> Get in there. One guy go for his arm. The other three pile on top of him and just fucking dismember him right. and finish it. Holy fuck. And there's people with guns too, and they're fucking so stupid, man. It's like basically, I don't know. I don't know if it's like if they're trying to go for a satire, like how stupid... Midwestern gun toting hillbilly Americans uh, are. I think maybe yeah. that's what they're going for. But when I'm looking at the reviews, it's like it's like five point five out of ten is what the reviews got. I'm like, I don't care. I want to watch it because I I, I want to see where this goes. And they are starting to go down the more supernatural thing. Like he's some kind of. Mm. I'm like, ah, oh, he did the same fuck up that Rob Zombie did with his sequel to Halloween. <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? But anyway, sorry, we were talking about purchases on Amazon. Those are the two that I bought, but. uh I mean, I still, at the end of the night, after watching it, I was still entertained. I was just yelling at the TV the whole time. but <laughs> uh, For Halloween Kills, anyway. Yeah. For Promising Young Woman, I was kind of speechless the whole time. Hmm. I was just like, what? <laughs> I don't even know what that movie's about, really. Like, what's the short? What's The, the short, short of it is uh, this, this woman uh, was in medical college and her best friend was raped. And everybody dismissed it because... It was just, she drank too much, she blacked out, and some guy raped her, and everybody was partying around it like it was no big deal, and she ended up uh, uh, committing suicide. So she's going on a revenge thing to Mm, people. People that, she starts off with, you think it's just, she's just picking people that are trying to take advantage of her while she's drunk. She pretends to be drunk at bars and get picked up by like these really sleazy guys Mm. to whatever, but I'm just going to leave it at that. I won't even say Hmm. anymore. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, the way it's, the way it's filmed and how the story unfolds, it's like, yeah, I don't, I honestly, like, it had me on the edge the whole time. It's not a very, like, big budget show. Yeah. But just, 
yeah, just make you feel gross after. Like, fuck, man. Like, you just <laughs> hate it. It flipped my whole fucking world around. Like, man, men are fucking scumbags. <laughs> hey, I'm a nice guy. I'm going to take you home. I'm a nice guy. It's like, fucking, do you think about it? And it's like, have I ever done something like that? Um, I've gotten to the point. I'll, I'll open up right now. Like, you, you take a drunk girl home. She's super drunk. Yeah. And it's like. Man, like she really put herself in a terrible situation. Like you, you got that stupid guy mentality. Like, oh, she's just asking for it, right? Like that's the whole theme of the show is like these girls are asking for it when when they're not asking for it. Yeah, they just drank too much, and you know, if it was a guy, they would take their bro home, put a blanket, sleep on the couch, and that just call it that. But because it's a woman, the guys are like, oh, you know, I'm taking care of her. She should be paying me back with whatever, even though she's not conscious to say no, or you know, she's so drunk that she doesn't know what she's doing, right? Like, so I've always been like. You know, you might try a little bit, but they're so drunk. It's like, well, I mean, that's filthy. Like you're, you're fucking disgusting for even wanting to do something like that. So you're a little disappointed. Like, oh, you're hoping that you're going to get lucky that night, but she's so fucked up that she can't even whatever. And you just, you know, go sleep on the couch. She sleeps in your bed and that's it. Like that's, that's as far as I got. you're disappointed. Like, fuck man, like whatever. This bitch just got super drunk and blah, 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 blah. Right. But there are guys out there that have that mentality that they think like, oh, you know, I'm a nice guy. I'm going to take her home so she's safe. I'll sleep with her still, but at least she's safe sleeping with me, mm. right? Like, that's the whole mentality of it. And it's just, oh, it makes my skin crawl, man. Like, it's fucked up, man. Yeah. It's a, yeah, if you, if any of you guys listening haven't seen it, I would, I would recommend it. I can see why it had such high praise. Like, yeah, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of twists in it too that are kind of interesting too, but cool. you should, uh, should watch it. It's. Good suggestion, Cameron. I'm glad I watched it. It was, uh, yeah. I don't know if you, if the, the reason why he wanted me to watch it was because of how I joke about women and stuff to check it out, but, or or not, but yeah, it was, it was, it was good. Hmm. The lead actress, uh, I can't remember her name, but she's really good in it. Hmm. I think I was like, wasn't that nominated for like an Oscar or something yeah, like that? I'm sure it was. I'm almost positive it was. It won like, all the festival awards too. And, yeah. Yeah. I think it was like the COVID year or something like that. Yeah, something, something like but... that. Yeah, I should look into this because it was it was good. It was very good. Cool. Yeah, that's neat. Promising young. Yeah. Did you buy anything on? Uh... I did buy a few things. Bought some socks. Bought some underwear. These socks are apparently going to take like ten days to come in. What the fuck? I was on. Well, if I would have known that, wouldn't have fucking bought them. You, you save five bucks, but you don't get the prime shipping, though. <laughs> the fast it is shipping. the prime shipping. It just, like, <laughs> fucking... Come Everything from, that I bought on come Prime... from New Jersey or something. Oh, like, Jesus. Hell. Well, that's... But yeah, and then I also bought, well... We're, we bought a, a new microphone. Yes, we did. We're going to ask, so that way we can have guests. Yeah. And uh, that also comes with a little boom arm, so I think I'll probably use it. Strap it to here or on there. Somewhere. Something, yeah. Because I'm always bumping Tyler's bumping. fucking thing here. Yeah. These stands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's what we need. Yeah. Little stands would be cool. Yeah. And then, uh, and then yeah. And then we have guests here. And then what else did I buy? Oh, yeah. I bought a, a Meta Quest 2. V- the VR thing. Ah, I've been looking at it for a while, for a long time, and uh, I was like, "Oh yeah, wait for wait for it to go on sale on Prime Day." And then like, Prime Day never never happened for like two years. And then it's like, "All right," and it comes with like a fifty dollar gift card, Amazon gift card. Oh so, wow! So I got that. So that's gonna be kind of cool. That's awesome. Sweet. Yeah, we've been thinking about that too because I think uh, I've all Carly. Well, we were playing some more Visage. Visage. Again, yeah, and it's it's v, I think it's VR compatible. <laughs> oh, that playing that in VR <laughs> will just kill me. <laughs> and even like Resident Evil Seven, I've always wanted to play that one in uh, in VR too, because it's just I don't know. VR would be such an awesome experience with, especially with horror games. Holy man! Yeah, we used to play VR all the time. Mm-hmm. That was a lot of fun. Got to get back into that again. Mm-hmm. A nice one like this one is like. Does it have like the wires or is it all battery? Yeah, it's all like built into the thing. It's wireless, what? so it's battery powered and stuff. You just gotta have a space for it and you're good to go. Yeah, and it does like outside, whatever the fuck it calls outside in tracking or whatever. So all the tracking's on the headset itself, so you don't need to put up like posts and shit. Oh, okay. So you don't have to make a grid or nothing. No. You just it just, just detects that you're gonna run into a wall. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Like you'll use the cameras on the front to be like, 
he back up, so. Yeah. And I got, like, a, I got a decent enough, like, space in my, like, kitchen that I can play it in. That's sort yeah. of thing, so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Damn. There you go. Figured I uh, get some, like, boxing games and stuff like that and just. Fucking go to town. Yeah. Work up a sweat. Yeah. Fucking rights. Pretty cool. Very nice. Bar fight. What was it? The bar oh, fight the game? bar fight game. <laughs> that was fun. It was so much fun. <laughs> just grab shit, throwing stuff at people. Yeah. The balcony wedding is so much fun, too. <laughs> You're just throwing fucking fireworks and stuff. Throwing people over the, the edge. Yeah. Trying to throw them over the ledge. Yeah. Um, Gorn. Gorn. That's another yeah, one. you I'll were fight. a monster in Gorn. Holy man. Where you can actually like, grab body parts, just pull them apart, <laughs> and then hit them with their limbs. Like, <laughs> yeah. holy crap. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Cool. So, hopefully, I think I should have that Tuesday, so that'll be cool. Damn. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, I think that was it. That's pretty much all about. Nice. I spent enough money. Yeah. Yeah. Played a new game on, uh, Epic Game Store. Which one? It's called Crying Sons. Crying Suns as in children's sons or like the, the solar, the solar, solar system sons? It's like a... Crying Suns, okay. It was like a... It's like an indie game. It's all like pixel art and stuff like that. Okay. And because uh, I saw it on the front page of Epic Games or whatever. I'm like, this kind of looks cool. And it's like, it's in your library already. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like one of these games I got forever ago. Um, okay. Got so many free games from Epic. Like just pages and pages of them. Now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I installed it. And, like, have you ever played the game FTL at all? No. F- uh, it's a basically, like, so this game, Crying Sons, anyways. You're, like, you're the admiral of, like, this big battleship or whatever. Okay. And you're trying to get to the the seat of the Empire or whatever because you're on the Outer Rim or something. Shit's going down. Right. So you keep, like... Jumping to different like solar systems and stuff like that, but it's it's a roguelite or whatever, so you okay. don't really know what you're jumping into. And then it'd be like, all right, you're in this solar system. There's like four planets you can check out or something like that. Okay, like, two of them are anomalies or something. So if you go there, it's like a higher chance of it being either a good thing or a bad thing. So you go there. Sometimes it might be like a battle where you're battling people, or sometimes it's like. Oh, you find a cryopod or something, and, like, it's a dude frozen. You can, like, bring him onto your ship, and he's a specialist, and he helps out with your weapon system or something like that. Oh, okay. So, like, the battle system's kind of neat where, like, it'll put your ship down in the bottom and their ship at the top there. Okay. It's, like, all these, like, little, like, hexagon squares. Right. And you, depending on, like, how much you upgraded your ship, you can deploy multiple like squadrons out or whatever and you just fly them out and like they'll attack each other and then you like you have your actual main guns on your system charging up and so once those charge up you can just take like a big direct shot at the opposite ship and that's, that sort of thing okay and it's like all like real time but like you can pause it and i <laughs> i need to like take advantage of pausing it more because there's a lot of shit going on at, at right at, at a time yeah but uh it's kind of cool and then like you're trying to get scrap, and, like, the scrap is what you use to upgrade your ship. But it's, like, basically the, the be-all currency for everything. So, uh, like, buying new squadrons or buying soldiers, because you can even, like, do, like, embark on planet missions or whatever. Okay. To, like, get more scrap. But sometimes you'll, like, send your specialist down with, like, a bunch of, sh- like, Squad, uh, squad members or something like that. Okay. And depending on, like, the traits your specialists have, they can either, like, either get past danger or if they don't have the sp- specific trait required, then your team gets, like, damage and sometimes you'll, like, people will die and shit like that. And Yeah. It's just, like, it's, it's a crazy game, but... Huh. I died, I did one run yesterday, got got through the first zone just fine, and then <laughs> the second zone, uh, I was like, okay, I heard about this, this next squadron, there's supposedly a, a pirate's, uh, like, uh, treasure there or something like that, but it's like a 50-50 chance rumor, it said, so yeah. I went there, as soon as I got there, there's like this ship and it's like all f- filled with children or whatever. It's like, help! We're we're fleeing uh, 
the Church of the Omnis, they, 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 uh, they, they, like, worship machines or something like that, and, like, but we, but we escape them because we, we don't want to do that and that sort of thing. Please, can you, like, let us come on board and bring us to the Empire, and then we'll, you know, we'll help you out and that sort of thing as much as we can. And then it's, like, you, a couple different options or whatever. It's, like, yeah, you can let them on board. You can say no. And then, but I had, like, a specialist who's, like, uh good at like infiltration or whatever so it's like okay get him to talk to them or whatever and so he like talks to them he's like it's like oh hey yeah these guys are like really tolerant on this ship and stuff like that i i praise the machines too and that sort of thing and then like the kids like her like get off that ship right now it's like what it's like get off that ship because we're gonna set it on fire and all this other stuff and then what? and then, <laughs> and then you, you you talk to your specialist like yeah they, they're gonna attack you so it's like all right let, let's surprise attack them now right but they had like way better shit than <laughs> so, <laughs> so these fucking kids just wrecked, <laughs> wrecked me and blew my ship up oh wow so, that's cool yeah just like random shit happens mm-hmm. and yeah oh that's really cool yeah. that's cool yeah hmm that's pretty neat. Crying Sons. Crying Sons. Interesting. And it was free, hey? Mm-hmm. Huh. So basically, like, the whole time you just have, like, a grid that you see and you're doing stuff. I don't know, like... Or do you... The, it'll be, like, the grid for the fight and stuff like that. And then it'll go to, like... Once you're not there, you're kind of, like, on your bridge and it has, like, this big window. Oh, of okay. Of you guys, like, standing there. And then, like... It's like, oh, in transmission coming in or something like that. You'll see what's happening and that sort of thing. Okay. But, uh, Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll show you some gameplay of it after here. Yeah. Sure. But it's pretty cool. Nice. Try that out some more. Yeah, I'd be interested in that. I've been watching uh, The Expanse as well on Amazon, so mm. I'm like, man, this is a good space show, man. <laughs> this is like the freaking fights, the space fights are so cool. I should and... get into that. Yeah, it's pretty good. First season's a little slow, but it builds all the character in the second season so far. It's just been a freaking roller coaster, like just action non-stop like holy man shit's just it's like they're doubling the budget it's like hey you know who the characters are you know who the players are now shit's gonna go down it's like nice yeah it's good it's good yeah it's cool yeah uh i also want to shout out one other thing there's this uh fan film on youtube that just came out last week called legend a dragon ball tale i guess this guy this canadian guy and a group of other Animator spent the last like four years making it. Oh wow! It's like eight minutes long. <laughs> okay, but like it's fucking so good. Like the animation's like super like nineties like style. Like it's got like this like weird film grain on it and stuff like that. Okay, but the animation's like super super smooth hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, and I was just like watching it and I'm like, man, if they were ever to like reboot Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Like, this would be a cool way to go because yeah, they introduce like an alternate timeline where Vegeta becomes king of the Saiyans and stuff like that, and oh wow, he comes to Earth way sooner and that sort of thing, and yeah, yeah, it's cool. Maybe I'll show it to you after. But sure, sure. It's pretty sick, pretty sick. So if you're like a fan of Dragon Ball Z, go check that out. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're about that time. Already. Yeah, we got a few a few minutes, I guess. Oh, okay. Unless oh. you think, unless you know. No, I can't really think of anything else. It's been a quiet couple of days. It has been. There's been a lot of recovery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just starting to like feel a little bit better, mm-hmm. less sore, less tired. Yeah. Now, since uh, since the big wedding weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I finally went to bed, like, kind of decently early last night, because I, I don't know why, I was last, like, should have been going to bed at, like, 8 <laughs> the last couple nights, but I'd be like, oh, I'm staying up till 11, midnight, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, idiot, go to bed at 9.30, and then... Yep, and you feel a little bit better. And then I felt, like, a million times better. I was like, well, I should have done that two days ago. Yep. Yep. That's how it goes, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we're going to get out of here, I guess. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Like and subscribe. You can comment and share with a friend. Uh, head over, nope, if you're listening on a podcast service. Yes. Leave a rating. Subscribe. You think I'd like know how to do this by now? Yeah, well, come 
You know. Complacency, Rep- repetition, sometimes. Yeah, true. That's how it goes. True. That's how it goes. Uh, and then yeah, head over to our Facebook page, <laughs> like the page. You can submit a question. You can submit a review for Children of Children Men. Children of Men. That's what we're watching next. Next Wednesday, we'll be reviewing that. Yes. So that should be a good one. It should. We gotta watch a bad movie. I watched, okay, speaking of bad movies, a real quick uh, encore here. You remember that uh, Red Letter Media was making fun of that guy? He makes all of his own movies. Neil Breen? Him. I was watching Barry Waltz has a YouTube channel on Warhammer stuff, just makes fun of it. And Alfarius is uh, part of the Alpha Legion, and they're all about deceit and mm-hmm. Black Ops, whatever. And he's in every single one. When they make fun of uh, the Alpha Legion, they have him in there. He's like, where am I? Who am I? What is anything? What is blah blah blah? Because like it's, it shows like when you've been Alfarius for too long, it's like and he's like losing. Mind. We gotta watch one of his movies, I think. If where would you even find that? I don't know. How would you even find that? Well, know. they had it on VHS, right? Red Letter Media. No, I think they're on DVD. You oh, can buy them on DVD. I don't know if they are like on the internet. Anymore. I don't even know if I'd want to pay money to <laughs> buy one, but oh my god. Or the room we could watch too, because I don't think mm-hmm. Eric has seen it yet. Yeah, we need to watch that one too. Yeah, yeah, there's a few. But yeah, Neil but yeah. Breen's a. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's bad, man. What was the? I forget the last one, the newest one. I forget the whole like thing Premise. of it, but I but I remember like all the uh, senators and greedy people committed committed <laughs> suicide. Shooting, so that's that's on there too. They put that on bear walls too. <laughs> yeah, when an imperial guardsman sees something, blah blah blah, and he just like shows the senator. And just fucking shoots himself. It's like, what? What? What do they even say? I can't remember. It. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm one of the corrupt people, and I'm not going to be corrupt anymore. And he just shoots himself, and it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, this makes sense. Yeah. And his amazing effects. Oh God, his green screen <laughs> perfection. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> and his fake news background. And that one where he's playing like an anchor man or something, or he's <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's fucking oh my god, it's so bad, yeah, so g- bad, it's amazing. Yes. All right, we'll get out of here. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you Monday. Adios, goodbye. See you later. Just kind of did the the Hitler salute by accident. Oops. <laughs>